I'm getting into Linux, Kenton Morton says. I was wondering, what's the best distro to get? Full stop. Chat room, you want to take it? <laughs> well, I guess it boils down again. Okay, we're, uh, I'll back up to the last question. It really depends on what you want to do really depends on what you want to do because the question that you're asking is basically th the only answer to that is opinion. Everybody's opinion is going to be different because everybody's user experience and everybody's user expectations and what they need from their operating system is different. So what I need from my operating system is different than what John Robert or Thybod needs. Uh, so in that respect, they may try different operating systems that, that I may not use. A. Jameson is a good example of somebody who, you know, while we can agree on many things about Linux, he's definitely interested in Fedora. But for me, it's not, it's not something that interests me. So, not that there's a, you know, it's, it's a matter of opinion, again. So don't, don't send emails about that statement that I made just there. Uh, for me, it's definitely Ubuntu. That's me. The chat room has a lot of opinions for you, so I'd welcome you to, uh, if you're not live with us tonight, join uh, the website, category5.tv, check out the IRC logs for episode number 95. But again, it really depends on what you want to do. If you're brand new to Linux, here's the way I look at it, and, I, and again, it kind of it echoes the things I was saying with the first question about programming. If you're brand new to Linux and you're used to Windows, I think the best step for you to take is to try to find a Linux distribution that's going to make that learning curve as subtle as possible. So for me, when I first started, when I moved from Windows to Linux, my starting place, and this is not an option anymore because they're, they're gone, uh, but was Lindos. Because Lindos was trying to be the Windows of Linux. Uh, they were trying to make something that was uh, had that Windows feel to it. So I think that it might be, you know, if, if that's you, if you're the person who's trying to find uh, a Linux alternative to Windows, something that you feel comfortable with, then you probably want to look at something that has been, ha that that's been their focus. Ubuntu, their focus is to be a really strong community-driven Linux operating system. But where they stand with other operating systems is not, it's not what's their driving factor. You get uh, distributions such as uh, probably Xandros uh, that have had consistently a, a real push towards Linux, uh, Linux and Windows compatibility and, uh, and things like that. Naisa, uh, speaking ahead of me, because I was going to mention also PC Linux OS, uh, the KDE version of PC Linux OS is, is a, good, uh, a good one to start with, I'm sure. Um, so, you know, it really depends, but look for opinions and, and find out, you know, and ask honest people what, what they think of, you know, here's my needs, here's what I want to do, and this is, you know, what, what it would be the best option for me. But if two things are true, I think one is you want to ease that learning curve, make it so it's as easy as possible for you, depending on your user, you know, your, the level of experience that you have and how willing you are to, to get frustrated with the little odd thing. Uh, but definitely something that's going to ease that curve. And also, you want to find something that's going to work well on your hardware. That's very important because the user experience is going to be um, affected by poor performance or uh, poor support for your hardware. So I want to see uh, I want to see one that is going to work really well for you. So, well, we said a few things. Hopefully, that gives you a little bit of a starting place. And again. Uh, read the chat notes, IRC logs uh, at category5.tv for episode number 95.